Hi, so I'm here again at Aura with the wonderful Anna. And what we're gonna have a look at today, is just a very short video, um, just to cover something I keep getting asked when people come into the studio or when I'm doing any lighting, uh, and that is what is the grid for on the softbox? Um, so in short, the grid controls the light more. So it'll turn a nice soft light, but give it some of the qualities of a hard light. So it can increase the shadows, focus the light where you want it to go, show off, definition better on your model if you if you're shooting a fitness model or if you're shooting somebody who's got shall we say a face with character like mine and you want to show off all my wrinkles then putting that sort of thing on can just add that shadow and add that depth to the image so what i'm going to do as always i'm going to get the light i'm going to set it up here i'm going to have it coming across anna this way i'm going to do it without the grid fitted so you will see the grid is just hanging from the softbox to start with i'll take the shot i'll put it up so you can actually see it and then we'll fit the grid in and we'll take the shot and you can see it with the grid fitted now i'm using the strip box today so i'm using the pixpro strip box um, but the grid will have the same effect on whatever light you're using uh, obviously if you're using something like a six by four softbox uh, which is a big softbox and you're in a small space putting a grid on isn't going to show that much on the environment and you might not get quite as good effect as you would if you were to use a smaller modifier like a 65 centimeter rice pond with the grid fitted. So all it's gonna do is just focus the light, give us a little bit more contrast, a little bit more shadow in the image. So I'm gonna get this set up and get started. So I've already had this up before, set up. Okay, so we've got it skimming across and, uh, and I'm gonna be out of shot over there, taking the picture pointing back this way so the, sh the side towards me is going to be falling into shadow okay so what we're looking for is for it to show a little bit more definition and just focus the light on that wall so it's a full length shot so we'll do it first of all without the modifier uh, without the grid sorry on the modifier I am still here I haven't went off and left her just do a few different poses for me Let me just fit you in there. It's me working with the prime lens and getting down on the floor. Okay, so a few different shots there you can see. You can see the wide spread of the light on this white wall. So you can see how wide it's going and you can see how it's falling across on our lovely model here, Anna. Now, while she just stands there and looks pretty some more, I'm just gonna fit this grid in. So, I'm going back over here. That's good. Switch it up a bit. So what you can see there then is the difference between the images. I'll put a side by side as well, I'll pick a couple. I'm just coming back into the shop myself. So we'll put a couple up side by side and you can see the difference between an ungridded strip box and a gridded strip box. And a similar effect, whatever you're using, even if it's a seven inch spill kill, take the grid off, put the grid on. It's just gonna focus that light more. It's gonna give you a little bit more contrast and shadow in the image. So that's what a grid's for. 